Nakute Nakute Takamon. Long, long ago, and therefore, it is so. There were two cousins who had never met, but they knew that that didn't mean they weren't family. Those cousins are Kia, whose grandfather was from the Isleta del Sur Pueblo, and Len, whose family lives in Bicuri Pueblo. These two cousins heard the call of their other families who they had not yet met, of their other great-grandparents, of their other aunties and uncles, of their other nibblings and other cousins. This call was an echo of the call of the winds, of the rice, of the earth. All were echoes of the great cry of the waters. A giant black snake is burrowing itself under the white earth land, under the great waters. This black snake is being helped by those who choose not to hear the cries of the peoples, the cries of the winds, the cries of the rice, the cries of the earth, the cries of the waters. It is time for water protectors and treaty people to join together to stop the black snake. Many people of many nations plan to come together at White Earth to do what they could to stop the black snake from growing. Kia packed up her drum, her medicine, and her camping gear and rode the iron horse from Kumaye lands along the west coast. She traveled for many days through many lands of many nations, telling stories and preparing herself to take action. In the desert near the lands of their grandparents, Kia and Len met. The next morning as they loaded up Len's trusty Virgil, they were greeted and blessed by the first of many animal relations they would encounter along their journey. First, the roadrunner gifted them with a speedy journey, and then a family of deer granted them safe passage. The two cousins traveled from the desert, over the mountains, through the plains, across the fields. Their trip was filled with music and stories and much, much laughter. The day before they arrived at White Earth, the two cousins filled Virgil with even more supplies for the people they were going to join. They bought a utility cart and chairs, water coolers, lanterns and candles, food and water, and so many other supplies. When they arrived late at night at White Earth, they were greeted by fireflies and songs, laughter, and much joy from those gathered together as water protectors and treaty people. Len and Kia set up their tents along a ridge near the water and slept under the sky. With the rising of the sun the next day was a great gathering of dragonflies filling the skies and fields. They met a large happy hog and many of their cousins and other friends arrived. This day was a day filled with training, for it is very important to train for many, many things, especially important when you are not in your own lands, when you do not know all that you need to know to be safe. These trainings were about listening to the people whose lands the black snake was invading, these trainings were about understanding the treaties and why people were gathered to defend the treaties and to demand that they be upheld. The trainings were about how to be safe. In whatever way a person was going to take action the next day, they needed to know how to be safe. 
there were people doing many different things. There were people driving. There were people responsible for food. There were people responsible for safety. People responsible for supporting the people who were fighting the black snake. There were people protecting the water, the earth, protecting each other. That last night, there was much singing around the campfire. Kia had brought medicine from her brother Ramon, who was from the Kumaye and Kickapoo nations. And she walked the campground with the medicine and shared with all who were present. And then she took her drum to the fire circle and she sang with other cousins that she had only met that night. Early with the sun the next day, the cousins and their other relations rose to join the family who had sent out the call. They sang songs and they prayed together in the car that was taking them to the place where the black snake was trying to force its way into the earth under the waters. When they arrived at this place, there were swallows flitting about, darting into their nests in the cliffs, which had once, not too long before then, been undisturbed by the humans. It was going to be a long, hot day. Community was formed, and those relations who had not known each other when the sun had risen were a close-knit family long before the sun began to leave the sky. Kia had packed in food and medicine. Len had packed in lots of extra water. The day was very long and much happened as the two cousins and all the relations present did their best to stop the black snake from gaining any ground. Reporters spoke to them and photographers took their pictures. The two cousins and all their relations present held their ground. Armed forces arrived to remove the water protectors and tree people. Len and Kia and the family members who they sat with began singing and they sang and they sang and they sang. When I breathe in, I breathe in peace. When I breathe out, I breathe out love. As Len and Kia and the relations that were singing with them were removed by the armed forces, a cousin crane flew overhead and blessed the work the water protectors and the treaty people. Many relations stayed through the night. Many other relations set up other camps along the waterways. Many other relations sang. Others held ceremony. Much more happened. Much more is still happening. The two cousins, Len and Kia, were released from jail a few days later and began their journeys home. They ate many good meals, had many good laughs, and are still fighting the black snake. Every one of every nation is a relation. We are all a family of people. We must all join together to protect the waters, to protect the earth. There are so many ways anyone can be involved in answering this sacred call. Just a few ideas. Donate. Most of the water protectors and treaty people who have been fighting the black snake of line three are still in the long detailed legal process of the American court systems. None of us are paid protesters and many of us are facing severe punitive consequences. Educate yourselves about the treaties. Contact your state and national legislators. The president has the power to defeat the black snake and stop line three. Divest from corporations and organizations who fund pipelines and the use of armed forces against peaceful protesters. 
stories are medicine to help us heal the world. They share truths, honor ancestors, and shape the future. Stories are magic, transforming both teller and listener. Stories are created to answer questions and should in themselves create new questions. I offer this story, my story, as medicine for your hearts. It is your story now. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. When I breathe in, I'll breathe in peace. When I breathe out, I'll breathe out love. When I breathe in, I'll breathe in peace. When I breathe out, I'll breathe out love. When I breathe in, when I breathe in, I'll breathe in peace. When I breathe out, I'll breathe out love. When I breathe in, when I breathe in, I'll breathe in peace. When I breathe out, when I breathe out, I'll breathe out love. When I breathe in, when I breathe in, I'll breathe in peace. When I breathe out, when I breathe out, I'll breathe out love. When I breathe in, I'll breathe in peace. When I breathe out, I'll breathe out love. Breathe.